Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. You will all buy for the sake of my wife, Olori Naomi. As long as you say you're not going to leave her alone, you will go to where you deserve to be in. Sit back there and begin to blame her. They said only of if a slam, you know, members of the palace community who are, you know, crying left and right, are feeling very bad about the return of Iyanifa, Iyanifa again. Um, they are feeling that bad because Yanifa has come back for more fortification. And this fortification is... Um, against their meeting in the palace of the Oni of Ife. You know, after what happened, Oni of Ife had told them that they cannot meet in the palace again. And because of how they responded, Oni of Ife knew that they were not going to go by his order and decided to bring forth Iyamifa for more uh, fortification. Right now, they say that these members of the palace community, not all of them, a lot of them are crying and crying so much that no, it's not fair. That it is because of Naomi that all of this is happening, that this is their community. They were born here. Nobody can tell them what to do and what not to do. They have the right to have meetings wherever they want to. First of all, Naomi brought... um. Uh, what is it called? The prayer house and disturb them. And right now, after everything has been fixed by them, KBSC has come up again telling them that Yanifa is coming for more fortification. Now, Yanifa did a lot before um, uh, she left, but they said um, um, for these people to have their meetings in the palace, that area was not covered. Now, the reason happens to be because the entire time they've been having their meetings and all of that, but this time they touched what affected the only of Ife because if their plan had gone well, if Nami had not been a prayerful person, who knows where Nami would have been by now because where, where, when evil people gather against you, they are not gathered to pity you for any reason or for any good that you have done. They are gathered to destroy you. If not for the grace of God upon the life of Lori Naomi, nobody, nobody would be able to tell what they would have done to that to that beautiful woman. All because of what? For doing nothing, for loving a man and being and wanting to be married like every other young woman, even like me, like you, like your daughter, like everybody. She has done absolutely nothing. The only thing she has done wrong as far as these people are concerned is the fact that she is a child of God, a daughter of Zion who prays, who believes in God, Jesus Christ Almighty, who is out there helping people, healing people, and all of that. That's the biggest sin that this woman has committed, that they will not let her drink water and drop cup. Now, they said that Peking will say, Mama, no go sleep himself. He no go sleep at all, at all. Oh, hey. This is the problem right now, as we are hearing what is going on. They said that, you know, um, the return of Yanifa into the palace is um, something that is causing a whole lot of uproar in the palace. People are upset. People are saying that these kinds of restrictions are not allowed in a traditional community like the only, uh, like the palace of the Oni of Ife, that people are ready, uh, uh, are free to do their night crawling as much as possible. What, but what if that night crawling is going to affect other people? Well, how is that not... Um, something that somebody should think about. And how is it possible that you had the F entry to go and carry your um, king's wife and put um, uh, uh, at the middle of your table, you want to hurt her? And you know that that woman has got a child for the king. If um, the woman had not been strong spiritually, <laughs> oh, it's only God who knows what would have been talking about. But rather, God struck all of you on her behalf. And then you have the effort to come and talk and sit down and, and, and plot more evil and act as if she's done something wrong to you. What the heck, what has she done? If there is anybody who should be pleading for forgiveness, you should continue to plead for forgiveness, not the other way around. They said, KBAC, the only of Ife has stated it clearly that the palace right now belongs to him because he is a traditional, you know, um, um, leader of the Yoruba race, okay? And he, 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 um, he has been given the right um, uh, uh, by um, Ifa to, you know, lead his people and be the head of the palace of the only of Ife. And so if you think that he has no right to decide what happened to um, the palace, then take the exit and leave because he has the right to put you out there. This is what we are hearing. If this information is true, do not forget. 
forget that these are all alleged rumored and speculated information making the rounds on social media. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Dela Wright, thank you. I love you.